Uh, on some series, they require, you know, like the city of Huntington Beach. I came across this inspector the other day. He, he told me to flip the, uh, the starter with the glue like face down on the gable because he says that uh, it gets too windy and then he doesn't want the the water to drive uh, the water underneath the the underneath the starter make sure that your nails are not overdriven adjust your pressure on your gun uh, if you don't know how to adjust your, the pressure of your gun just uh, I think I have a video how to adjust your pressure and of the gun and then uh, so that way you you know how to how to do it uh, always is about almost half half inch overhang I usually get my finger and then just put it like this and when I touch the the metal that's when I that's when I stop okay and then uh, after I install my my pro starter hopefully you guys like my new knife <laughs> some guy told me he liked it okay uh, I'll show you my second the black uh, shadow on the bottom but if you see the starter and the shingles are equally the same so right here there's gonna be a there's gonna be a gap so what you need to do you need to figure out how much you have to trim from here in this case I'm going to trim about half of that you see how this one has to end up in the middle of this so I'm going to trim a little bit of this starter the first this is the first starter on your on your left on your right I'm sorry guys like this you see okay trim it now when I put my, put my first presidential it goes like this you see you end up in the in the middle of the starter okay and then when you have that one already done then you can put your other starter and then you can follow the the line with the starter like this see like this okay like this see now you made up and now you can start putting your new shingle and after you install your starter you see my my shingle it's covering the 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 joint right here the gap you see it, it covers and then you have to nail in the blue line right here you have to use five nails per piece one two three four five and then the shingles have right here like a little little cut you see this little cut right here and then there's another cut right here that you have to look with your hand you have to look with your fingers see this one measures five five inches this one measures 15 inches so you can start with five inches or 15 inches it doesn't make no difference but this one has you see this little notch this little notch has to has to engage right here where the five inches are like this and then you nail it and then you have to align it i usually align it right here on the bottom right here like this on the edges okay and then i start nailing and then right here and then the next shingle the next shingle is gonna go 15 inches okay remember I told you 15 inches so you already look for the 15 inches and uh, where are the 15 inches let me see right here you see it right here are the 15 inches so that's what you're looking for and then you you put this little notch of the shingle you see this has a little notch you put it right there and then you put a nail you can hold it in place and then this one you just align it from here you can align it from here but it takes longer and then right there okay and then the other shingle you just uh bought it to the to the shingle that you already installed like in this case you see it just bought it here then you nail 
and then this one you just pull it down like this and then you start nailing again okay and it goes like that and then right here you already have the uh, you already have the the first uh, shingle installed so you only you only following that pattern don't forget about the 515 okay look you see 515 this one you put it like this then you nail the other trick you know that i want to show you in this little video it's when you get to the cuts you know like on the end cuts you don't measure you just flip it the flip the bun the shingle around and just cut on this side and then flip it back again and then it's gonna give you the perfect thing you see it like this time i just flipped it i turned it the other way and now i put it the right way and it's gonna fit perfectly you see there's some little tricks that you learn on the trade you don't have to use your tape measure for doing this kind of uh, details you know remember stay away from the from the step flashing don't don't re-nail it only nail it once and then right here on the field is easy you know you just can continue and you nail like this pull it down and then keep on it right there I'm gonna have to use another uh, step flashing but then I'm going to continue here so I can show you and then I can continue with my work and then uh, I'll take a video when I finish Also, when you get to the to the gable, if if you don't want to overhang the shingle on that side, let's say for example you have to put it right here, just flip it around, make sure it's butted to the edge right here, pull it down a little bit from the edge, and then just look for the 515, and then just cut it right there. See it like this? Cut it. You say it's supposed to look like that, and then you just flip it. And then you put it right there. That's gonna give you the the perfect cut. See right here, you make sure that the blue line it's aligned with the top of the bottom shingle like this. Okay. And then you nail like that. And as you can see, you see I got my five inches here, five inches there, fifteen inches there, fifteen inches, and go like that, and so on. And then the pattern looks like that. And I'm done. This is how I did it. You see, guys? This is the way it looks. It's presidential uh, shakes. Whenever you're uh, you're checking somebody's, someone's installation, look for the gaps. You know, make sure that you don't see the gaps. You know, between the between the shingles, the joints. You know, what the shingles in, interlock with the other one. Look around. You know, you can't see them. Unless you lift out the seat, see it's underneath, you see it? It's there, but it's covered. So you can see them. So that means, uh, and also, look for the pattern, you know. It doesn't have to, see this one is bigger than this one, this one is too small, one big, and like that. And that gives you a, uh, a uh, pattern that I'm gonna show you later on from the bottom. Okay, this is Presidential TL.